morning it's Pamela from Yorkshire in the north of England here to talk about crochet I don't have um, much finish to show you because uh, I've been working on the mush mushroom cap for Cassandra's latest challenge um, I have done um, the remember my little bear I've been doing which is a star baker now which is like my uh, I'm inventing as I go with uh, what I want to have on it. I made a little cake to wear as a hat. Um, if I'd have thought on it, I'd have put a lighter shade for the pink cake because I thought it's very much like the the, the bear colour is that. But anyway, such is life. Uh, I've just fastened under there a little bit too closely so it's odd shaped but I am thinking about in the back loops doing some sort of doily this is obviously supposed to be a cake stand um, and then you know the, the cake on top with you know jam and cream in the middle um, I've made some French knots to look like um, either cherries or strawberries so yeah I'm contemplating putting a bit of white as a doily on the bottom of the cake so she's progressing uh, like I say it'll be a slow job because it's just as and when I fancy doing something I'm giving it a go so I just free ended that one uh, free ended sorry that cake and um, I think it's come out rather well like I say little problem with my stitch in there but yeah looking okay I think so yeah so just uh, watch this space for changes to, to come um, now, I have a little tale of woe for you. I have actually made some notes just so I don't forget what I was going to say. So it's a sad little tale about a lady called Pamela who was supposed to be stopping buying crochet magazines. So it started with, cancel your subscription, she said to herself. You'll save money, she said to herself. Don't look at the crochet magazine, magazines in shops, she said to herself. On Saturday, she was, what, she was meant to walk past, she said to herself. But instead of walking on in a straight line to where she needed to be, she took a right turn. The devil on her shoulder, who sounded remarkably like Nick, said, get it. <laughs> so... I was stood at that point in front of the Crochet Now magazine and so I, I got it. Can I just say it would have been cheaper for me to keep my subscriptions to the magazines because I'm now spending £8.99 or £9.99 a month on magazines when I'd cancelled the subscription. So it's a tale of war. It's a tale of a man who enables a woman to get what she wants and I got it so it's crochet now it's issue 106 on the front it's got Sean the sheep which was very tempting for me so and not like I haven't already got a pattern for Sean the sheep but oh now I've got another one um it's on page 14 this this was what started it there you go the patterns for Sean the sheep, his little sidekick with a you've got a dummy in. Uh, what's he called? Hang on, got so we've got Sean, Timmy, and Bitsa. So, yeah, that's what started this purchase. So, got it. In it came Starcraft Summer Crochet magazine, which is mostly wearables. Well, I think it's all wearables. I was quite tempted now I haven't wanted to wear a tank top for um, years uh, but I, it's on the front is this one but that, that's the oh, yeah. so I'm quite tempted to make one of those for winter um, whether I'll ever get round to this I don't know there was also um, oh yeah that cardigan see this could be cardigan pattern number five and I, can, and I haven't even done one yet. So that one is called the Bobble and Chic Cardigan. Quite like that one. So I failed again. Now also in the pack of the magazine was a Crochet Society booklet of adorable animals. 
It's a pocketbook of adorable animals. So, do I need any more animal patterns? No. Got them now though. And to justify buying all this, I'm using, I promised to make Brian a monkey for ages. Because I don't know if I've told you, but monkeys make him laugh. It's so it, it, they just amuse him so much so i thought i'd make him the monkey um which is that one there so yeah i, I um i failed miserably uh yeah you can make you can make like little things like you can do turn them into like an halloween animal they've all got either one of two shaped heads the same body and then one of two arms and legs um and obviously ears can be different um that's that's the monkey with the birthday gear on and i think there's a christmas one as well oh that's easter so easter with a basket of eggs and a bow tie then we've got at the beach then we've got that reminded me of but you know cassandra's uh sunshine bear i think that's what it was called very nice anyway lovely pattern and then we've got christmas which is that one and i think that's it yeah so yeah there's some lovely animals in here i'll show, I'll show you the animals i mean like i said they're, they're, they're all um, homogenized with the with the heads and the bodies and what have you but you know you can make them different can't you so we've got the let's have a look so that's the rhino then we've got a red panda and a nipple um the, the ones dressed up are those then we've got the bear and the lion and there's a bunny rabbit anyway it's 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 all the little booklets like i said they're very the like they're homogenized ones there's, there's not much difference but you know like it gives you ideas don't it you know that's what i like i mean like this one for the doing a if you do a an halloween one that'd be great at halloween wouldn't it so yeah anyway i've done it now and i've got it so i've started the monkey for for brian so i've only got that far with it um i'm using the Serdar stories in the color enna um, and then uh, a beige colour I'm going to use for the paws, feet and his um, muzzle-ish thing that they have on the front. Um, so yeah, I think that'll look lovely. So yeah, not much else to show you apart from that. But yeah, so I'm thinking about re redoing my subscriptions now because you know, so I can't let it lie. <laughs> oh dear, what can you say? In fact, I'm worse than I was before because I only had one subscription at a time and now I'm buying Simply Crochet and Crochet, crochet now every month. <laughs> anyway, well, I've been out for a walk this morning um, I had to go for blood tests again. You know, I'm, I'm ongoing with blood tests. Nothing to worry about. Um, but yeah, I've been out this morning. It was lovely sunshine, very windy though, very, very windy. Um, but I went for my walk and I've done 1.8 miles, which is pretty good. Just got back in and the heavens opened. It was, it just, it's just come down like no tomorrow. Um, so, um, uh, it looks like it's going to be changeable weather all day to me. Uh, there's some blue sky now, but obviously it's going to be showery and blue sky. I mean, it is supposed to be April showers, but I'm not sure about all the wind um anyway such is life i'm on the lookout for my, our head job because it's been coming out during the day which is all wrong so i've got um the local edge rescue on standby that if if i can catch him 
um, they're going to take him and uh, check him out, weigh him and um, check him out, you know, uh, do a pool sample to see if he's got any illnesses and what have you. Uh, and then bring him back, if he's fine, bring him back straight away just in case. Well, it might be a girl with some oglets somewhere. So bring him straight back and uh, then they can release him. Um, but yeah, we're hoping that there's nothing wrong with the head job. Uh, it could also be one that's just come out of hibernation apparently so it's wanting to catch up on eating and drinking um, so there might not be anything wrong other than it's a bit underweight but anyway it's probably best to check it out so yeah I'm on the lookout for the head jog um, we'll see hopefully it's okay anyway I think that's me for now uh, enjoy the rest of your day take care of yourselves I'll see you there